so good morning everyone welcome to class 11th economics class chapter going on is elasticity of demand so in the last class we had already studied we had already covered the meaning of elasticity of demand degrees of elasticity of demand and even with the meaning and degrees we have covered what are the factors that can affect the elasticity of demand right tell me any four factors which can affect the elasticity of demand that means any four factors which can affect the elasticity of demand means where demand will be elastic any elastic less elastic more elastic i think we have covered all these topics so it's your turn to recapitulate everything and tell me where we will say that the demand is elastic and where we will say the demand is inelastic or less elastic or more elastic you can raise your hand and each individual is allowed to tell one point only one point you people can raise your hand and i will be definitely asking from those okay samir samir you can speak sir uh, first is perfectly elastic demand when there is an infinite demand at a particular price and demand becomes zero with a slight rise in a price then demand for such a commodity is said to be perfectly elastic uh in samir but uh, my question here is my question here is what are the factors what are the factors that affect the demand of uh, the elasticity of demand like one of the example like virtual necessities or one of the example like availability of close substitutes one of the example like share in total expenditure income level price level nature of good i am talking about these points so first point to be done by nilima nilima any one point please say so, elasticity of demand for any commodity is generally generally less for the uh, people with high income as compared to the people with low income uh, there will be less elasticity for the people for uh, having high income level and elasticity will be uh, low hello haan ji haan ji hello sir ultimately i can simply say that if you are talking about the income level uh, if you are talking about the income level then if the income level of a person is high the elasticity will be low and if the income level of a person is low the elasticity will be high second point i would like to know from darshika darshika you are unmuted speak sir so second point is number of users okay explain please sir so if a commodity have a higher number of users Uh, the elasticity is uh, hello darshika we all can listen you uh, you can speak continue speaking sir so the elasticity is uh, low and if the number of users is less i think you have not revised the concept right you have not revised the concept. this is not done Koshi Arya. Uh, 
as the market is not level of price. If the price is low, then there then the uh, la, then there is low elastic. It is low elastic, and when the price is high, then it is elastic, highly elastic. So ultimately, with the price level also, there is elasticity of demand affected. Okay, all right. Uh, next point, Bansal. Dhruv Bansal. Any other point which you want to speak? Sir, the next point will be habit. The commodity which have become our habit are highly elastic. Okay. Which means the habitual necessities commodities are basically have the high elasticity, and if we talk yes, about those commodities which have uh, which doesn't have much habit in the in the habit of the consumer, would be having more elasticity. Okay, next point. Who want to tell me? Dushant want to tell. Dushant, you want to tell? Okay. Yes, yes, sir. Bolly. Sir, next time the time period. Demand is generally inelastic in the short period. It happens because consumers find it difficult to change their habits in the short period. Okay. Any other point by any other one? Any other person? Namish Jalan, uh, you will be speaking one point. Tell me. If the substitute is available in the market, then the price elasticity will be low. And if substitute is not available in the market, then price elasticity will be high. Okay. So substitute low, 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 is low, also low, basically low. dependent on that. Fine. So mm -hmm. I think till now we had covered. Now I'm going for the next topic, and our today's topic is. About elasticity of demands calculation. Here we will uh, learn how to find out the elasticity of demand. How to find out the elasticity of demand. So this is our next topic now. How to find out the elasticity of demand. one thing i have already told you one thing i have already told you and that is the law of demand just tells us the qualitative relation when price rises demand falls when price falls demand rises when we talk about the elasticity of demand Elasticity of demand is something which tells us the magnitude of change. If price has fallen or decreased by ten percent, the demand will increase by ten percent, or increase by ten percent, or increase by thirty percent. So ultimately, the elasticity of demand is value which can be calculated. Now, on your screen, it is clearly visible to you all that the percentage method for measuring price elasticity of demand. How can we measure the price elasticity of demand? First of all, the elasticity of demand is basically written in the short form as ED. Can you see here? This is E D. So E D is basically the denomination for elasticity of demand. If I want to calculate elasticity of demand, instead of writing the whole elasticity of demand word, we can just use its denomination and calculate E D. All right. How it is calculated? With the percentage method. See, with the percentage method, the E D can be calculated. The E D can be calculated by with the percentage method. The E D can be calculated by following a formula. Now, what is the formula by which we can calculate this? This is that formula. Here I have a formula. Percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. This is the formula for calculating E D. Percent Change in quantity demanded divided by 
परसेंटेज चेंज इन प्राइस व्हाट इट इज एक्चुअली सी ऊपर का पॉइंट देते हैं फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इन द फार्मूला यू कैन सी दिस ईडी ये ईडी का चीज है इफ आई टॉक अबाउट ईडी सो आई विल सिंपली से दैट ईडी इज बेसिकली द इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड हियर वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट इलास्टिसिटी ऑफ डिमांड मींस द वैल्यू ऑफ द मैग्नीट्यूड कि अगर प्राइस में चेंज हुआ 10% से then demand may by which percentage the demand have been changed so we are just talking about the magnitude only so yahan par to hum baat kar rahe hain topic ki that is is aage hum baat kar rahe hain percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price that ed is equals to percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price now what is this percentage change in quantity demanded if i talk about this percentage change in quantity demanded yani ki ye hai demand mein kitne percent ka change hua 20% ka change hua 30% ka change hua 40% ka change hua to demand mein kitne percent ka change hua that is percentage change in quantity demanded aur uske niche hai percentage change in price means is mein kitne percent ka change hua Whether the price has been changed by five percent, whether the price has been changed by ten percent, or the price has been changed by twenty percent, ultimately, when I talk about what is ED, how it will be calculated through percentage method. Through the percentage method, I can simply say that ED is equal to percent change in quantity demanded upon percent change in price, which means due to change in price, there is the resultant change in demand. Which will be ultimately told by the elasticity of demand. I hope the formula is clear to all. So whenever the question asks about the percentage method, calculate the value of ED by percentage method, or what that is given in percentage, then we have to apply this method only. And this is ED is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded on percentage change in price. Now. Moving further, as you can see, that percentage change in quantity demanded is calculated. You see, it's clearly shown that the percentage change is coming. If any change is coming, it is coming from the change from original into hundred. If I suppose I want to find out that in any particular thing, how much percentage change was, by what percent there is change in a particular thing, then how I am going to calculate it? I'm going to calculate it by change upon original into hundred. So here, if I need to calculate percent change in quantity demanded, how percent change in quantity demanded will be calculated? I simply can say percent change in quantity demanded is equals to change in quantity that is change upon original into hundred. Change upon original into hundred. यानी कि अगर किसी चीज का परसेंटेज नहीं दिया हुआ हाउ कैन आई कैलकुलेट आई कैन क्लियरली कैलकुलेट बाय चेंज अपॉन ओरिजिनल इनटू 100 दैट इज चेंजिंग क्वांटिटी अपॉन ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी इनटू 100 फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर एग्जांपल क्वेश्चन हमें स्पेसिफाई करेगा दैट अर्लियर द क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड वाज 100 यूनिट्स नाउ द क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड इज 120 यूनिट्स सो टेल मी व्हाट इज द चेंज इन डिमांड You can simply calculate the percentage change in demand by change on original into hundred. Change कितना हुआ? Twenty units divided by original कितना? Hundred units multiplied by hundred. I hope this is clear to all. Percentage change in quantity demanded can easily be calculated by change in quantity upon original quantity into hundred. So what you have to do is just Start writing all these things, please. In a uh, in whatever way, I am telling you, please start writing that. That ED is equals to the heading value of percentage method of calculation of ED. Percentage method of calculation of ED. And उसके नीचे please write the formula. ED is equals to ED is equals to Percentage change of quantity demanded. Percentage change in quantity demanded. 
परसेंटेज चेंज इन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड डिवाइडेड बाय डिवाइडेड बाय परसेंटेज चेंज इन प्राइस परसेंटेज चेंज इन क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड डिवाइडेड बाय परसेंटेज चेंज इन प्राइस उसके नीचे प्लीज लिखिए राइट डाउन अ नोट इफ राइट डाउन इफ परसेंटेज ऑफ एनी क्वांटिटी और प्राइस इफ परसेंटेज ऑफ एनी क्वांटिटी और प्राइस और प्राइस इफ प्राइस is not given is not given is not given then it will be calculated as below then it will be calculated as below i am i'm starting removing those persons whose camera is switched off jin camera switched off hai i am starting removing those persons now so you have written that if the percentage is not given if the percentage is not given we can we can calculate that percentage kaise nikle nikalenge niche likhiye aap the percentage can be calculated by using this formula which is change in quantity on original quantity change in quantity on original quantity into 100 change in quantity on original quantity into 100 all right so if percentage is not given in the question we can simply calculate the percentage by change on original into 100 aise hi demand ki niklegi percentage aur aise hi price ki niklegi all right so jo bhi aap ye formula likha tha ed equals to percentage change in quantity demanded upon percentage change in price ye formula likha uske baad we have written percentage change in quantity demand kaise nikal sakta hai it can be calculated as change in demand upon original demand in 200 and even percentage change in price can be calculated as change in price upon original price in 200 is it clear to all please show me your thumb that is clear to all how to calculate what is the formula of calculating the okay e d by percentage method fine i hope there is no voice problem to to till now koi voice problem to nahi aayi abhi tak kisi ko aaj fine now moving further now moving further on this topic see now proportionate method देखिए जो proportionate method है that also is basically being calculated by the percentage method only ये proportionate method भी आपका इसी से ही निकला है how it is calculated कैसे निकला है ये see if I talk about the proportionate method अगर मैं proportionate method की बात करूँ तो I can simply say e is equals to Change in quantity upon original quantity in hundred. Can anybody tell me why there is this thing change in quantity upon original quantity in two hundred? Why there is this thing change in quantity upon original quantity in two hundred? Don't you think it is percentage change in quantity demanded? No. Yes, it is percentage change in quantity demanded. And if I talk about this. If I talk about this, this is percentage change in price. 
ये तो भाई है परसेंटेज चेंज इन प्राइस यस यानी कि द प्रोपोर्शनल मेथड इज कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम द परसेंटेज मेथड ओनली द प्रोपोर्शनल मेथड इज बीइंग कैलकुलेटेड फ्रॉम द परसेंटेज मेथड ओनली अगर मैं परसेंटेज मेथड को इस तरह निकाल कर दूं तो आई विल गेट द प्रोपोर्शनल मेथड कैसे इट इज इक्वल्स टू चेंज इन क्वांटिटी अपॉन ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी इनटू 100 ये कैसे निकला दिस इज परसेंटेज इन क्वांटिटी और नीचे परसेंटेज चेंज इन प्राइस व्हिच इज डेल्टा पी अपॉन पी इनटू 100 राइट अल्टीमेटली 100 से 100 कैंसिल 100 विल बी कट बाय 100 एंड वी विल गेट दिस हमें ये मिल जाएगा वी विल गेट दिस डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन क्यू होल अपॉन डेल्टा पी अपॉन पी अगर मैं इसको रेसिप्रोकेट कर दूं इफ आई रेसिप्रोकेट दिस थिंग so i will get the proper formula for this this is the formula ye formula mujhe mil gaya it is equals to delta q upon delta p into reciprocate ho gaya into mein ye ja ke wo upar la gaya q niche aa gaya which becomes p upon q ultimately you have to learn this formula aap ye wala formula learn karna hai basically proportion method ke liye it is equals to delta q upon delta p into p upon डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन डेल्टा पी टू पी अपॉन टू काइंडली राइट डाउन दिस फॉर्मूला लिखिए प्रोपोर्शनेट मेथड मतलब प्रोपोर्शनेट मेथड ये फटाफट से भी आपकी वीडियो कैम्स ऑफ क्यों हो जाती है दो मिनट के अंदर ही आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग आई हैव आस्क्ड यू टू स्विच ऑन योर वीडियो कैम्स होल क्लास I want to see side by side whether you are writing or not, and you have to show me also once you have written. So, लिखिए उसमें. Proportionate method is being calculated from the percentage method only. लिखिए. Proportionate method is being calculated from percentage method only. Calculated by applying the following formula. It is calculated by applying the following formula. The formula is ED is equals to ED is equals to delta Q. That means change delta Q on delta P. ये रहा फॉर्मूला आपका वो डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन डेल्टा पी इंटू पी अपॉन टू डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन डेल्टा पी इंटू पी अपॉन टू दिस इज द प्रोपोर्शनेट मेथड एंड यू कैन राइट कर उसके नीचे लिखिए टू इज इक्वल टू क्वांटिटी ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी प्लीज राइट डाउन Q is equals to original quantity. Q is equals to original quantity. P is equals to original price. P is equals to original price. Delta P is equals to delta P is equals to. Tell me in the chat box what will be delta P. Or Nilima Jain, I am asking from you. What will be delta P? Sir, change in price. Very good. Delta P is change in price. And Chetan Thakur, I can see Chetan Thakur also. You will see. You can tell me what is delta Q. Tell me, Chetan. What is delta Q? Change in quantity. Very good. Delta Q is change in quantity. So. Is original price. Q is original quantity. Delta P is change in price. Delta Q is change in quantity. And E D is elasticity of demand. E D formula will apply over. When you have E D Q, you will simply apply delta Q upon delta P into P upon Q. Delta Q upon delta P into P upon Q. I think it is clear to all. Yes, sir. 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 Y
delta q upon delta p into p upon q. If the question is now, please write down one star point. Star point, write down one star point. If the question is silent about the percentage, if the question is silent about the percentage, if the question is silent about the percentage and and no data is given no data is given in person form no data is given in percentage form and even and even the question is not asking the question is not asking and even question is not asking to apply to apply percentage method to apply percentage method ma then then we can then we can use proportionate method then can use Proportionate method. Good job. Then we can use proportionate method. Good job. Clear to all? Clear? Not clear. अभी एक बार मैं दोबारा से इस टॉपिक को आप लोगों को बता रहा हूँ. Again, जो भी तुमने किया. We have covered the percentage method for calculating the national uh, for calculating the elasticity of demand, and according to this method, formula which we need to apply is percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. We have to apply percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price. And how will the percentage change in demand will be calculated if it is not given? It will be calculated using the formula: change in demand upon original demand into 100. Same way, percentage in price can be calculated as change in price upon original price into 100. All right. So, if the question is silent about the percentage method, even we can calculate the proportionate method. Now, the proportionate method is ultimately the proportionate method is ultimately derived from the percentage method only. से निकलता लास्ट में ईडी का फॉर्मूला क्या आता है इससे डेटा क्यू अपॉन डेटा पी इनटू पी अपॉन टू वेर एस डेटा क्यू इज चेंजिंग क्वांटिटी डेटा पी इज चेंजिंग प्राइस पी इज ओरिजिनल प्राइस एंड टू इज ओरिजिनल क्वांटिटी ऑलराइट दिस टॉपिक वी हैव कवर्ड टिल नाउ ये हमने अभी किया है किसी को डाउट इस Who is going to recalculate again the whole class? Just now, which we have done today. Who will tell me the whole complete class? Just now, which we have done today. Raise your hands. Those who can recalculate again. Raise your hands. Those who can recalculate the complete thing. Nilima Jain wants to tell. Okay, Nilima. Then I'll go into the other, other children. Finish also. Nilima, over to you. Sir, to cap. so to calculate elasticity of demand we will calculate the percentage of demand quantity upon percentage of change in price and for the uh, to uh, find the percentage change in price we will uh, we will calculate change in demand upon original price into 100 change and for the change original demand into 100 upar bhi demand aur niche bhi demand Then for the percentage change in price, we will calculate percentage change in price upon original price into hundred. Then we have studied the proportional method of for calculating uh, elasticity of demand. That is percentage change in quantity upon percentage change in uh, sorry original quantity into hundred upon uh, no, change in price. No, listen, upon Nilima, make it very simple. We have to talk about the proportional method. We simply say 
दैट डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन डेल्टा पी इंटू पी अपॉन क्यू बस इतना सा याद रखो डेल्टा क्यू अपॉन डेल्टा पी इंटू पी अपॉन क्यू डेल्टा क्यू इज चेंज इन डेल्टा पी इज चेंज इन प्राइस is is original price and Q is original price and Q quantity. All right. Quantity. Moving, moving towards the uh, next person. I would like to ask, what is the relationship between law of demand and elasticity of demand? Anshikar, you are busy in your other works, I guess. Anshikar. It would be better if you concentrate in the class, please. so oh, my question is what is the relationship between law of demand and elasticity of demand khushi arya so a law of demand refers to the directional change or whereas or whereas elasticity of demand state the quantitative change very good that when we talk about the law of demand we we'll simply say that it is a it shows the directional change if price is rising demand will fall if price is falling demand will rise and when we talk about the elasticity of demand it tells us the proportional change magnitude of change how much change is there in the quantity due to change in the price of a commodity so i think it's clear to all tomorrow we will start the numerical of this topic kindly revise it today aap sabke paas material hai i have already sent this material of this chapter kindly revise this topic again and again i know this is numerical and most of you may face some problem in numerical but uh, trust me once you will revise definitely it will be clear to you all all right and i'll i'll revise the concept again tomorrow and then i'll start the numerical all right so we'll meet you tomorrow for uh, for the next topic